Hello and welcome to my very first tutorial on Cardano blockchain. Uh, this tutorial and all my succeeding ones will be focused entirely on the Windows platform since I will be developing all my web and mobile apps uh, involving Cardano using um, .NET and C Sharp. So in this tutorial, um, I'm going to teach you how to install and run a Cardano node on a Windows server. So to get started, let's go to the developer's website of Cardano at developers.cardano.org and then just click on Get Started to go to the documentations. Uh, if you go to Cardano Components, uh, there's actually a, an existing tutorial here on how to install and run Cardano node, but it's a tutorial for Linux and Mac only. There's no tutorial for Windows. That's why I came up with my own video tutorial here. All right. Now let's go to the overview. As you can see, there's a uh, Cardano node link here. Now click on that, and it will bring you to the GitHub of uh, Cardano of IOHK. And as you can see, the latest release is uh, version 1.33. If you scroll down a bit, uh, there's a downloadable Windows executable file here. So just click on download and then uh, look for the uh, zip file underneath and click on it, download it, then extract it in any folder that you want. What I did is I created a Cardano folder on my C drive that I extracted all the files there. As you can see, um, there's an existing configuration folder already, and um, all the uh, it contains all the uh, required configuration files. So there's no need to download or create any other file actually. So now the best way to uh, to run the node is by using a batch file. So you can easily type in all the required parameters, and there's no need to type all of them every time you want to run your node. Okay, <coughs> so let's open a um, uh, notepad and then type in cardano dash node space run, which is the uh, command to run the node. And then the all the required parameters are actually just a few. And the first one is topology. And the existing configuration file is already in the configuration folder. And then the database path. So this is what we need to create. So first, let's create a folder inside the Cardano folder that we created. So let's call it DB. This will contain all the uh, blockchain database that will be downloaded by the node. So let's type in the DB in the database path. And then the next one is the uh, socket path. Uh, you need to type the backslashes exactly as shown here. So uh, type in double backslash, dot backslash, pipe, and then backslash. And then after that, you can actually enter any name you want. Uh, for simplicity, I just type in Cardano. But you can choose whatever name you want here. The next one is the host address. Uh, which is the IP address that you want to use. For example, it can be um, a local IP address or you can use your external one if you're running a server. The next one is the port number. You can choose whatever port number you want. And config. And the existing configuration file is also in the configuration folder that comes with the zip file. So basically, that's it. The, just save the file, uh, say batch file. Choose all files, and then make sure the extension is PAT or BAT. So basically, that's it. And in order to run our batch file, <coughs> you need to open uh, the uh, command prompt as an administrator. So if you go to Windows System, Right click on command prompt, more, and then choose run as administrator. So let's go to the uh, Cardano folder that we created. As you can see, all the files are there, including the batch file that we 
created. And then just type in the name of the batch file, which is run dash node, and then press enter. So you can, as you can see, um, the node is currently syncing uh, uh, with the uh, blockchain network, and it's showing the latest slot that has been downloaded. All right, so basically, uh, that's it. Now, we need to know if our node is actually listening or it's running properly. Uh, in order to do that, let's go back to the overview of Cardano components and go to running Cardano node. So under the running Cardano node um, section, there is an article called querying the Cardano blockchain. Now, in order to query the, uh, the, the node that we just uh, executed, uh, we need to use the Cardano CLI or the command line application. But before we can do that, actually we first need to set the, uh, set we need to set an environment variable in Windows and we need to call it a uh, Cardano node socket path. So let's copy that, then let's go to Windows. And to open the environment variables, uh, on your keyboard, press the uh, Windows key or the one with the Windows logo and R. So it will open the run, the run window. All right. Then in the uh, bus it says open, you type in sysdm.cpl and press enter. Okay, go to advanced and click on environment variables. So this is where we need to set the, uh, the path to the uh, uh, pipe socket or the uh, socket path that we just created. So click on the new button and then um, put here the variable name, which is Cardano underscore node underscore socket underscore path, all, all caps. And then in the variable value, let's go back to the batch file that we created, you need to type in exactly the way it is typed here. So just copy that and paste it here. And OK. And close the window. All right. Now, before it will be uh, assigned, you need to close and open the uh, command prompt if there's any uh, command prompt currently open in your uh, operating system. So let's open a new one. All right, then let's go to the Cardano folder that we created. And then you need to type in the Cardano CLI query tip, and then the required parameter. Okay, so that's it. If you type it the way it is, uh, it will show you the required parameters, additional parameters here. So since we're running the node on the mainnet and at testnet, we need to include the mainnet parameter here. So Cardano CLI query tip space mainnet. So you see, um, it says the uh, sync progress is already 7%, and the current epoch is 22, current slot, and the current block that has been downloaded. So, so that's it, guys. It looks like our node is listening, and it's running properly. And if you would check again, it's already 7.62%. So it's syncing also properly. If you look at the node uh, there. All right, that's it, guys. We have just installed the uh, node and run it. And then we query the node if it's listening. Uh, the reason for that is um, it means our node is all ready to be accessed by our custom applications that we will develop. All right. 
Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you on my next tutorial. Bye.